And worldofpoker.com in association with Virgin Games are proud to present the Not Stop TV. Stubby Jonathan Rab, uh, GUKPT, third season. Uh, it's a fantastic achievement. Thank you very much. It's a delight to, that we're back on the road again. And, you know, sometimes it feels like it wasn't very long ago when we had the very first event back in Bolton, 2007. Yeah. And now it's very well established. And you know, the fields all this week have been great. We've had over 140 players in the first two side events. The Omaha fetched 81 players yeah. last year. The Omaha events were picking up by the end of the year, but you know, to start it off this way really shows. Um, and we've got a lot of good cash games going at the moment. We've got two Omaha games going, right. um, and I've noticed it also in the Vic. I'm working there at the moment now, as well as doing the GUKPT. That we're getting a lot more Omaha games, right. and I think Omaha is going to be coming back in 2009 mm. with a vengeance. Well, it's not so much the, there's 81 runners. It was, it was a £100 rebuy and there was nearly £30,000 in the pot. Well, there was a lot of money, but a lot of that was down to one particular player oh, who right. had 29 <laughs> rebuys. There was a £29,000 prize pool and he'd put 10% of it in. Right. He needed to finish third, I think, to break even and he didn't. No. Uh, Brighton, leg one. Yeah. Uh, whose decision is it to fetch us into Brighton in January? Well, really, it's a logistical issue and we're out to save some money for the players, you know. In Brighton, if you come to Brighton in the summertime, in the holiday season, yeah. the hotel prices are more, yeah. you can't get a room, mm -hmm. whereas now everywhere's cut price, everywhere's, you know, yeah. there's hundreds and hundreds of guest houses and hotels in Brighton, they're empty in Brighton. Same reason we go to Blackpool in the late to November, after the Northern Lights have come, after the, the, the illuminations have yeah, come yeah. down, because... The hotels are, are abundant, mm. and that's the key thing. Yeah. Now, of course, um, this summer we've got the summer series. Indeed. Tell us a little bit about that. It's basically it's uh, it's taking place over three different weeks in um, uh, three different venues, and the idea is it's a small, it's a mini festival. It's like a mini GUKPT festival. Yeah, yeah. We have a two hundred uh, pound event, a three hundred pound event, and a five hundred main event. So for those people for whom the main events, the five hundred thousands in the normal GUKPT is too big too rich to get into, it opens it out to uh, that level of people who can't quite afford that and it makes the GUKPT accessible to a lot more players. Uh, we're going to be visiting Aberdeen, uh, we're starting in Bolton and then we're moving on to Aberdeen and then coming to Walsall. So it's, be, it's, a, it's great, the fact that I come from Edinburgh originally, I'm delighted that Scotland's finally on the GUKPT map. And a quick mention that we saw something on the table about our National Poker League. Yes, we've got £100,000 of added value going into the National Poker League this year, and this is something that, in the past, a lot of individual clubs have run their own leagues with their own prizes. We're doing it across the entire Grosvenor Estate. Yeah. So if you happen to live in Blackpool, but you're away visiting in, uh, in London, you can still take part and still earn points towards the same league you would have been playing in your local We've got lots of seats in the GUKPT as prizes, and the winners also get seats in the Champion of Champions event, so it's incorporating it all into the GUKPT. And if you can't even make it to a, a club, you can take part online on Blue Square Poker, mm. so it incorporates it online with the offline. Yep. Uh, coming back to Brighton, uh, we've still got Julian Thew in it. Can he make it a double? Well, is he looking for a treble here? I mean, you've got to remember he's the only player to have won two GUKPT main events. Uh, he's got a great record here. He's had a... Uh, he and his wife have had another young baby uh, just over Christmas. Uh, a boy called Hal, who <laughs> he tells me is an angry baby. <laughs> but he seems as calm as ever. It hasn't put him on tilt. Excellent stuff. Let's get back to the action. Jonathan, Indeed. always a pleasure. Thank you Thank much. you, Phil. Nice one.